This is a Boogaboo Buffalo chassis, and today we're going to be talking about two problems that can occur with this chassis that uh, both have the same damaged part uh, as the, uh, the reason for these two problems. So problem number one that might be occurring with your stroller is if you put any sort of weight on it, it collapses down like this. Okay, I'm gonna take another Buffalo chassis and show you the other problem. Now, this side is more or less okay, this side is not, but if you have a problem where the back wheels slide in towards the front, you probably can see it, I have no resistance on this side. If both sides were damaged, it would mean that the entire back frame would slide in towards the front. So in both of these cases, the problem is this, usually, this third disc. You could, I guess, have problems here or here, but in the majority of cases, it's this third disc, which is uh, the disc that goes back to the back frame. In the case of a stroller that collapses, see, I have this disc removed. So in the case of the stroller that collapses, it's this side that has been damaged. Here is what it should look like. And in the case of the second stroller, where the back frame slides in towards the front side, it is this side that is damaged. And you can see here, these are all ripped apart and worn down. This one is slightly worn, but better. It actually is still quite functional. So today we're going to show you how to take apart the uh, central mechanism of the Buffalo chassis and swap out the defective part. To my knowledge, you cannot get this part via 3D printing. It's relatively large. I don't think anybody's made a model of it. Uh, that's a hint for anybody out there who makes models. But you can, of course, take the uh, part off of a, another chassis. Perhaps you find one on eBay or online somewhere, which is defective in another way. And then you can swap out the part. Okay, so now we're going to open up the central locking mechanism. I've removed the shopping basket and the wheels. I find it's a lot easier to deal with the central mechanism that way. Uh, you're going to need a butter knife or a flathead screwdriver, and you're going to need to pry off this plastic top. Later on, you can super glue it back into place, and then you're going to want to screw out this screw. And then we can start pulling apart these discs. I'm going to pull the outer disc out. Uh, one thing I like to do with this outer disc, this one just came right off as well is to uh, remove this plastic piece. And the reason for that is that there's a little spring and I've had some bad experiences where it disconnects and shoots clear across the room and then you lose it. So take that one off as well. And then we can pull off this one. And you can see exactly as I said, this side of this disc is completely broken. So we're gonna need to drill out this uh, disc, the rivet here, and uh, then we can remove it. So, turn the stroller on its side. This is a five millimeter drill bit, what I usually use. It's uh, proper for most stroller applications. easiest if you attach it here first. And you can just pull it out. It was uh, somewhat thrashed on this side as well. Okay, there was a bunch of little bits of plastic and stuff. Shake all that out. You can, uh, you can give it a spray as well if you want with WD-40. It's totally necessary. Or um, uh, silicon spray works nicely as well since there's so much plastic. But what's important is you get out all those little chunky plastic uh, shavings and so on. And then we're going to replace it with a disc that's in order. So I'm just gonna show you this. I have uh, several videos on how to take this apart. So if you need more guidance, then, uh, then you can look at those. But on the inside of this disc, I'll show on the broken one, 
there are these little notches here and here, and there's this white plastic piece, and this uh, length of white plastic piece that sticks out has to fit into those notches in the end in order for everything to be aligned properly. But you can kind of get this on here first, onto the central bar, and then stick it on the back. Okay, I'm aligning that white piece then. And again, if you need to see this better, uh, we have other videos opening this up. But essentially, if it's not aligned properly, these two discs will not move in tightly together. Uh, once those are set up, you can pull this piece back into place. go and then it's a matter of the outer part you want your handle to be at the same height on both sides and I'm going to turn this on the side and we can reassemble this first this uh, wire goes under this little white flap and then through there and then you want to reattach that spring And then with this piece, so it has two sides, one's like shark fins and one is like these little tags. And then there's gear teeth around the side. And you'll notice that one is larger. So that is gonna go in with the shark teeth downwards, uh, pointing towards the outside of the straw. Just kind of snaps in nicely together, unlike Chameleon 3. Then we're just going to screw this one back in. And then you can uh, reattach this with some super glue. Super glue over the white uh, stuff that was there before. Just press it in for a little bit. And then lastly, I'm gonna rivet that piece we switched in place. I always do the riveting last because if anything else needs to be realigned, then you don't have to drill out rivets. So. I just use pop rivets, one from each side. Originally it comes with that longer bolt rivet that runs straight through. Uh, I noticed no difference in um, uh, strength with the pop rivets. I actually like them better because it's two points and which is holding the parts together. There we go. So now this side, nice and tight. This side's of course still damaged, but we're going to uh, switch out that part next. No need to do it on video, it's the exact same process. Uh, that's how you fix these problems, either again when the back frame slides in towards the front frame or the entire frame collapses downwards with weight. Uh, both are the same piece. We hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.